Welcome back today for our midday makeover. I'm joined here with Elizabeth Russell, a part of the Arts or Wellness Arts Network mm -hmm. and the owner of Elizabeth Botanicals. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about skin care and protecting your skin from the sun. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your business, Elizabeth Botanicals? Well, Elizabeth Botanicals is a um, skincare product line that I created to be all natural as well as wheat and gluten free. And I have everything from lotions to creams to scrubs, a whole bunch of different things. And then, <laughs> so, and then as so, far as sunblock, one of the things, do you find a lot of people need it to be, you know, we are gluten free? What are some of the health benefits of that as far as the naturalness of it? Um, there's a growing number of people who do have a sensitivity to wheat and gluten. Um, some people know it as celiac, but others like me are actually, I'm allergic to wheat itself, so I can't even touch it. So buying skincare products off the shelf in a store, I can't do. I started making my own a couple of years ago simply because I needed to be able to make sure I, you know, don't react. Wow. And so. then sunblock, making that on your own. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's not something you see or see people do every no. day. It's actually quite easy. Making sunblock, you can. Um, it's as simple as you can take your favorite lotion that you know you can use and add some non-nano zinc oxide powder like this. Okay. And the important thing is to get the non-nano zinc oxide because that will sit on top of your skin providing protection rather than being absorbed into it. Okay. You could also make your own. Um, lotion if you wanted to. It's very simple and quick. The lotion that I make, I actually infuse the olive oil with herbs to give it a little extra something for the skin. But then all you need is emulsifying wax, the non-nano, the um, a good quality oil, and distilled water. Okay. And you can make it very simple and easy. And the ratio for getting a good sunblock is approximately a one to, uh, wait, let me think about it. <laughs> it's, I know I have to think. One to eight ratio. <laughs> it's one ounce of the non-nano zinc oxide powder to eight ounces of lotion. But that's an approximation. So okay. you really should test it on your own skin to make sure that it lasts long enough for you and reapply as necessary. And we'll share that recipe mm -hmm. after on our website after the mm -hmm. show. Um, real quick, this zinc oxide powder, you know, mm -hmm. where do you find this stuff to make all this? You can actually source it from Amazon.com as among from other as well as from other places. I source the wax and the herbs from Mountain Rose Herbs. The oil you can source from either location or I just go to Wegmans. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> yes. And what helps prevent with the SPF? I know a lot of people are, you know, concerned with that. How much mm -hmm. of an SPF does this provide by making it your own? There are a lot of different uh, thoughts out there. I hear some people saying that you need something that's close to 100 if you have very scare, fair skin. Other people say that above a 30 doesn't matter. What it, what you need okay. to do for each individual is to apply it as necessary. So if you feel it's rubbing off, get some more on there. If you have very fair skin, apply it more often. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Well, that's all the thank time you. we have. But Thanks. after the show, we will share that recipe as well as more information about Elizabeth's botanicals.